Here is a short yoga sequence for lower back pain. So start by coming into child's pose. Child's pose is done either with the knees together or the knees apart. Bring the feet together under the bum and then walk your fingertips forward. Bring the forehead down onto the mat and breathe here. As you're breathing, feel the stretch under the arms. And if you want a deeper stretch, walk the fingertips forward. Stay like this and breathe. Now, stay low, bring your left hand just off the mat and your right hand on top. Feel the stretch through the right hand side of the body. And then bring your right hand just off the mat and the left hand on top. Breathe here. Feel the stretch through the left hand side of the body. Come back into the center and come onto your hands and your knees. We're going to go into cat cow pose. So check that your wrists are under your shoulders and that your knees are under your hips. From here, inhale, lift your head and your hips. Exhale, drop down and round your back. Inhale, all the way up. Feel the stretch through the front of your body and exhale all the way down. Feel the stretch through the back of your body. One more time each way. Inhale up. Exhale down. Draw the navel in. Inhale back to neutral and then tuck under your toes and push up into downward facing dog. Walk it out. As you're walking it out, keep the hips lifted up high and feel the stretch through the back of each leg. And then come into downward facing dog, pressing the heels down towards the ground. The legs are strong and straight, hips lift up, and the spine is long. Breathe deeply here. Slowly walk your feet towards your hands. And come into a relaxed forward fold. Keep a bend in the knees. And then if you want, hold on to the elbows and bounce or sway the upper body. Feel the spine loose and feel the upper body heavy. From here, place your hands back down on the floor. Walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Hold this for two deep breaths. And then slowly walk your feet through to seated. Extend both legs out in front of you and move the fleshy parts from under your bum. Flex the feet and hold on to the big toes with the first two fingers of each hand or hold on to the ankles if you can't do that with straight legs. From here, we come into a forward fold. 
Inhale to lengthen through the front of your body. As you exhale, do this slowly. Hinge forward at the hips. Now, the aim here is not to fold yourself in half. Um, that will actually give you back pain. The aim here is to stretch slowly. So first of all, you should feel the stretch through the backs of the legs. And then you'll start to feel the stretch through the back of the body. If you have quite bad back pain, I would avoid going into a really deep forward fold here. I would stretch far enough so that I can feel the stretch through the backs of the legs and not so much in the back of the body. Keep breathing deeply here. Every time you inhale, lengthen the spine. Every time you exhale, see if you can fold a little deeper. But it's really important to listen to your body here and notice if you feel any aches or pains and just work with your body. As someone who has suffered a lot of back pain, the worst back pain I've had has been when I'm doing really deep forward folds. And funny enough, I actually get a lot of relief from back pain from doing lighter forward folds such as this. So a couple more breaths here. And then inhale to come back up and exhale, maybe give your legs a little shake. Now we'll come to lying on our front. So we come into Sphinx Pose. Lie down on your front and prop yourself up on your forearms. Make sure that your forearms are shoulder width distance apart and that they're parallel. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, draw the shoulders back and down. As you're breathing here, feel a gentle stretch through your spine and through the front of the body. Breathe deeply and keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. Take a couple more breaths here. And then exhale, slowly lower, back down, rest the forehead down on the back of the hands. Take a deep breath here. And then we'll come into a twist on the floor. So stay on your front and have your knees pointing towards the left of your mat and lower the front of your body down onto the mat like this. You can either bring the forehead down onto the back of the hands like this, or for a deeper stretch, turn the head away from the knees like this. Stay here and breathe deeply. As you're breathing, make sure that the spine is long. Make sure there's no discomfort in the back. Couple more breaths. And then you can swap sides. The knees point towards the right, the front of the body comes down onto the mat, the forehead either comes down onto the back of the hands or turn the head away from the knees. Remember to make sure that the spine is long. And this should feel relaxing. These kind of twists are really good for the spine. They encourage blood to flow into the back. And they stretch the muscles between the vertebrae. Couple 
Couple more breaths. And then you can slowly inhale to push yourself back up to seated. And we come to the end of your quick lower back pain sequence. Thank you very much for joining me.